What is going on my fellow outlaws, outlaw Gary here and in today's video we're checking out the brand new weapons that have recently been added to Red Dead Online to make the game a little bit more enjoyable and there's someone behind me that is literally beating someone down in the middle of the street. Of course, some things in Red Dead Online never change and hopefully you guys never change either. The support on this channel lately has been phenomenal and I cannot thank you guys enough for everything you guys have done for me and dudes for keeping strong through these very dry times of Red Dead Online. We finally have things to do. If you missed any of the videos I uploaded today, be sure to check them out. Also, I'm probably live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash jobless You guys can find the link on the screen right now or in the description, and you can visit any gunsmith to unlock the brand new weapons. So today, we're checking out what those weapons are because apparently, they're pretty amazing. Visiting the Wheeler Ronson code catalog, you will notice two things. There's the elephant rifle and the brand new improved bow. Both of these are pretty awesome. Starting off with the bow. The reason why I want to start off with the bow is because honestly, it's pretty cool. <laughs> now you, of course, can either use gold or cash. I currently have $12,000 and I have 205 gold. And I'm just going to use my cash because I have so much of it. So let's just buy this real quick. The bow. What's cool about the bow is that there are lots of variants that you can choose with this bow and more to come in the near future. This is something I'm super excited about because it's a first of its kind as the improved bow is a improved version of the original bow. Now, the variants on this bow is pretty pretty dope. We have first the wooden inlay variant, which as you guys can see is okay. It has like this really like artistic approach to the bow, but there's a way better version of this bow. And it's something you currently cannot get in the game by just going to the gunsmith. You actually have to unlock it. And in today's video, we're not only showing how to get that variant, but we're also going to get it and then we're going to use it. So it's a win-win all across the board. So on top of that, we also have different styles you can add to your bowing or bowstring. So for me, I think I'm going to go with the white bowstring. I'll show you guys why in a little bit. And then you can also change out the leather. And I'm going to change this out as well. Uh, they don't have a white, like a white color. Like this sort of works, but not really. We'll leave it as is. And then the varnish. What can we do here? Ooh, ooh, okay. Bro, the birch looks dope. I'm going to go with the birch. So that is the improved bow. And then ammunition, we got, we got enough. All right, so we have enough arrows that is the brand new bow now we also have the rifle now if you go to rifles you'll notice that this brand new rifle is pretty ridiculous it's the elephant rifle this weapon is literally used to kill large animals so i'm assuming this thing outputs crazy amounts of damage comparatively so let's check out what this looks like so to buy the elephant rifle it costs 580 dollars or if you want to use gold, it's 24 gold, which 24 gold is still a lot. So we're just going to use our cash. And honestly, the elephant rifle looks pretty cool. It looks sort of like a double barrel shotgun, but it's not a double barrel shotgun. It's literally an elephant rifle. If you guys have never seen what this gun looks like in real life, check this out. So as you guys can see right on the table, this gun has two triggers. The reason why it has two triggers is because it has two uh, like pieces of ammo it uses to shoot. It has two barrels and each barrel shoots a different round. And they're massive rounds. Like these things are probably like this long in real life. And from the video you guys just saw, it's absolutely insane how much kick this gun had. Luckily with this, you can also add some improvements to it. So let's add the long barrel. Let's just, let's just put this thing all decked out. Boom, improve rifling, all of it. We're going to make this thing super nice. We don't even need the sights, but we're adding them anyways. The stock, uh, let's go with... It doesn't really change anything. You just... Ooh, oh, we got free. Oh, free. I love free. We're doing free. And then the wrap. Let's see what wrap can we get. Oh, the cloth wrap is free. Ooh, the leather wrap is nice. We're going to do free. I'm all about the free, dudes. So let's give this thing a little bit of a go. Uh, all the engravings, as you guys know, is normally just the same stuff. It all goes through. I'm not going to really change anything with that. Uh, varnish, I just... For some reason bought that didn't mean to but it is what it is oh my god there's so many options then we can change the color of the cloth to oh bro a crimson cloth let's go all right i think that's good to go i want to test this thing out let me make sure i have the ammo for it first all right the nitro express rounds are the ones we need and they're 47 cents each, which is pretty expensive. I don't even know, like, okay, well, we'll see what happens here. I also just realized I need some horse survivor too, but I can't buy that here. Oh my God, this thing's huge on my back. All right, let's give this thing a go. Long arm shoulder, holy. <laughs> it like breaks my entire back every time I shoot it. All right, let's reload it. I want to see how much, like, ready? Hello, sir, I'm just testing. <laughs> Dudes. That is insane. Oh my God, the kick is ridiculous. Let me see, I'm sorry, just. That guy's dead instantly. 
If you guys notice, the reticle is also really big when I shoot it. It's huge. And I have such limited amounts of money, too. Or um, ammo, not money. And I have no idea why I'm not getting a bounty. What happens if I shoot a chicken? <laughs> I was expecting the chicken to just disappear. I sort of want to test it on this guy and hope he doesn't get mad. So I'm going to go a little far away from him. I'm going to try to see how much damage it does. It just one shot at that. Look how far I am. This is like a shotgun rifle. Like, wait, can I like snipe people with this? Let me go find this guy again. I hate to be that guy, but I have to test this. Oh, wait. Oh, dang. I was going to try on that guy. Wait, this is perfect. This guy is just far enough away. Ready? I'm going to shoot him in the body. Okay, so it doesn't reach. He is. So it'll tell me when I can shoot him. Let me see. I still can't hit him. His distance is too far. Let's go find this player again. The player, I, I, I normally don't do this, dude, but we gotta give it a shot, literally. Oh, here's a guy right here. Let's ask him if, if, if we can do some testing with him. Hello? Hey, uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, Mr. McRad? Hi, my name's Garrett. Uh, listen, I just bought this elephant rifle and I was wondering maybe if I could shoot you to see how much damage it does. Like, just to try it out, you know, give it a little go. Are you open to this, uh, this testing? It's for science, okay? It's worth it. Yeah, sure. Hell yeah, come on! Hell yeah, dudes! All right, so you're gonna have to get out of uh, defensive mode. Now, this is what I'm thinking. I'm gonna shoot you from a little far away, and then we're gonna see if it hits you. And then we're gonna get a little bit closer and see if it hits you, and then we're just go from there and then see what happens. So, uh, you're no longer in defensive. Okay, ready? Just prepare yourself. Oh my god! Bro! <laughs> if you are a dead eye shooter, this gun is gonna be so overpowered. <laughs> okay, now that was at a pretty decent range. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna see if this far back. Well, where are oh oh you're here. Okay, right, stay right there. That's good. That's pretty far away. Let's see if it does damage. Oh my are you freaking kidding me? This thing is like a sniper rifle. Rockstar, what have you done? This is amazing. Okay, all right. Okay, we're gonna- So is it like a shotgun or an actual rifle? So this is a rifle. It's called the elephant rifle. This is supposed to be used to literally kill elephants in everyday life. So I'm gonna see if I can snipe you from this far. And I'm gonna go for your head just in- uh, I'll go for your body again. Okay, so it doesn't reach from here. Nope, still doesn't reach. Okay, so the range... Let me see something real quick. I wonder... Can you do me a favor? Can you punch me real quick? Okay, so that, that'll let me know on the crosshair if I can hit you. Okay, so this right here is the furthest I can be to hit you. Which, honestly, is pretty freaking far. The question is, this is the furthest I can be. Will it one-shot you? What do you think? Do you think it'll one-shot you? Uh, probably, yeah. All right. What? That's ridiculous. What the? <laughs> that is so broken. This thing, okay, this rifle by far is the most broken weapon in Red Dead Online. Like, I am so far, like, dudes. And the reticle zooms in, like, pretty quick. You can easily get some, oh my god. That's insane. All right, last, last try. Ready? I'm gonna try to hit you while I'm moving. I'm not gonna let the reticle zoom in because I'm staying still, so let, let's pretend we're, like, in a PvP battle or something and just... Oh, okay. So the bloom is pretty intense. Dang. So you would really have to wait for it to zoom in. You'd really have to time it. Yo, thank you so much for helping me test that, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. You okay. should definitely buy it. It's super worth it, as you may be able to tell. <laughs> okay, so... Is it just a double barrel? No. Or does it have, like, like it, how many it, shots are in it? It's two shots. It's a double barrel rifle. So it's mainly going to be used for legendary animals, I think. This is going to be the gun you All use right. to kill the legendary animals with the new naturalist role. Shout out to that guy for being super nice and cool. So as you guys saw, it's pretty good. I mean, like, and I, I think pretty good. It might be an understatement, but it definitely does what it needs to do to really put somebody down. I have reason to believe that might be what we're going to be using to take out, like, big game. But as you guys know, the hunting rifle was that weapon before. And now I think it might be a little bit different. So we're going to buy all Nitro Express ammo again, and we should be good to go. So with that said, let's go to the location you guys are going to want to go to in order to get your bow upgraded. As you guys know, the the bow um, is pretty good on its own, and the improved bow, comparatively, we can showcase side by side how much damage each does. They're pretty different, so let's check that out. Wait, I can't even take... Wait, I don't even have my bow anymore. I can't take out my bow for some reason. Regardless, the improved bow is better. Even just the way that it draws the arrows, how quick it takes them out as you guys saw it's pretty fast it's like whoop i also think that the lead time it has for it to like really hit its arc is much better as well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the location to upgrade our bow but i think we need one thing before we do that so for this variant you need to go all the way to gus yes gus that is me thank you i i appreciate it now listen gus i'm here to buy the goods baby the goods because he has under equipment that's right 
the horned variant. Now, this is a visual variant of the improved bow. Now, here's what's crazy about this. You can't even see what it looks like from Gus, but I know what it looks like because Rockstar gave us a sneak peek in the trailer. In today's video, I'm showing you guys what the Horde variant looks like if you have not seen it. Check this out. I'm gonna buy this bad boy. There you go. We gotta fit it for him. All right. Big Paul saddlebag. What? It, might have to buy that saddlebag later. I'm not even sure what it does, but probably something amazing so i've gone ahead and bought this variant and now we gotta get over to a gunsmith and slap it on this bad boy i'm really excited to showcase this to you guys so we've made the gunsmith over in valentine and dude i'm back hello sir so let's customize our bad boy improved bow i'm actually super stoked for this now we go to variants and before we didn't have it and now we do and oh my gosh that is sick that is so worth it that makes me so happy because these little things in the game that you can change so freaking cool so unfortunately this does not have the style it looks like like you can't change the style but look at it on my back that is amazing yes look at this dudes <laughs> i'm stoked i love this this is awesome so i just realized earlier i had mentioned you guys how i you know wanted to show you guys the difference between the bow and the improved bow i don't think i ever bought the bow on pc <laughs> Well, the more you know. But regardless, this bow is nasty. It's a must-have. Like, I missed? Oh, my God. Oh, my. <gasps> this thing's amazing. Can I? Let me see. Can I snipe this guy? Oh, my God. They're too far. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Oh, guys, please. I'm just trying out my new bow. God, this thing's so quick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the bow is pretty amazing. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Click the little bell, stay notified. And of course, click here or here to go watch the next video. If you guys missed any of the other update videos, this has been a crazy freaking day. I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye, dudes.